Hey YouTube, Frida Vercaz here. Hey, the crisis in Japan continues and it looks like there's going to be a second meltdown and I want to cover that right now. It says right here in this story, if you can see this, um, you magnify this by 200. Um, if you can see that, it says that this story came out one minute ago and I'm going to click on the time here, and it is now Sunday at approximately um, 12.45 a.m., and this is before the time change. And um, basically what this says here is um, that uh, a, second, a second nuclear meltdown is underway, and uh, Japan officials say... And um, again, the links are going to be underneath, but um, this is not good. And this picture here is they are screening the people of Japan for radiation and any types of uh, pollutants that they uh, may have inside of them, whether they breathe them in or not. So this is a very, very critical situation. Now, again, I want to point out that that with the fact of only one one re reactor melting down, it wasn't majorly critical to the United States that only one melted down because it would take about 8 to 12 days for that radiation to get to the United States mainland. And at that point in time, it might have been broken down quite a bit. Well, now that there's two melting down, um, this changes things a lot. So I, I, just, I just want to point that out. And um, something else that I want to point out here again, it says uh, Japan government officials say partial meltdown likely underway at nuclear plant. And again, if you look at it here, it says uh, Awaki, Japan, Japan's top government spokesman says a partial meltdown is likely underway at a second reactor affected by Friday's massive earthquake. And again, they are still having, they are still having aftershocks. And in fact, we had one today, Saturday, which was at about 6.1 uh, on the Richter scale. So it's still a major deal, guys. This is still a big, big deal, and there's a lot going on. Um, two reactors have melted down, and three are still in critical condition. Amongst the other that are remaining, um, I, I don't even know if they've even gotten to inspect those. So... We're still dealing with the original five, and uh, links will be underneath. And uh, I, you know, this is very, very critical, people. Just uh, we should be getting prepared here in the United States, just in case, because we have two melting down, and and that's going to be a big deal. And uh, again, uh, watch the uh, the follow up clip that's going to be here at the end of this video too. Very, very frightening developments uh, potentially in Japan. The cooling functions of at least one nuclear power station in Fukushima, now another plant losing its cooling function as well. We know that the one in Fukushima, uh, people have been now uh, evacuated from a sort of cordon sanitaire around that of some six and a half miles, or just under six and a half miles, ten, ten kilometers, as uh, fears there that uh, radioactivity has been released into the uh, atmosphere uh, as well. Uh, Japanese officials saying that levels of radiation inside uh, that nuclear plant um, have risen to a thousand times their normal levels, a thousand 